Hi everybody, I'm here with my March favorites and I'm just gonna go right into it to not make this video go so long. Um, first is a hair product item. And this is um, Garnier Futrice's Sleek and Shine Anti-Frizz Serum. As you can see, I am already down to the bottom. I absolutely love this stuff. It has argon um, oil from Moroccan and apricot. And it is for frizzy, dried, unmanageable hair. Don't let the sleek and shine fool you. Um, you know my hair is naturally curly right now. You can't tell because I kind of straightened it and then it got rained on and then it got all crapped on. So ignore the hair. But... I use this every day when I get out of the shower um, right before I brush through my hair. It has the most, I love the smell, it smells very salon um, and I love the feel. I feel like it's protecting my hair and it really does um, manage the frizz which is what I love. And I use this on a daily basis. Um, it's very reasonable under $4 and you can get this, at I usually get mine at Target so everyday product, love it. Next item is my moisturizer i've been going through a funk skin is confused whether it wants to be oily or dry i needed to up my clinique dramatically different moisturizer it just wasn't doing anything for me so i decided to go with the origins and the one they recommended is called starting over it's anti-erasing moisturizer with mimosa this stuff smells wonderful if i wash my face i immediately have to put the moisturizer on or else i feel like my skin is shrinking and this just really moisturizes it. It just hydrates it. It feels wonderful. I wake up feeling my face still feels really good, very nourished. It is an AM and PM moisturizer too. That's always good. Okay, next item. This is from Hill to Toe. I purchased this at Sally's. This is to remove, I believe it's described as a callus remover. I use this to maintain my pedicure. Um, three or four days, if I've been walking around a lot in my heels being rough on my feet I will get a lot of you know dry skin on my heels and so I pop this puppy out after my baths or showers and it works really well um, I do I always do it at the end though so my feet are very saturated and the dry skin is you know kind of loose so. next item is the matte constructivist paint pot I use painterly every day all the time but um, now that spring is coming along, I love to do a lot of bronzy, kind of brown, smoky eye looks. Um, a lot of golds and brown tones. And um, I will put this cream shadow on top of Painterly on the lid. And um, I normally pair it with Bronze by MAC, which is this color right here. And then I'll put um, a Woodwinked. Yeah. So I'll put like... Um, wood winked in like the inner crease and under the eyes so love love these two colors on top of constructivist and like i said it's just a really deep bronze kind of kind of shadow just it's so nice so my last favorite item is my mia my clarisonic mia 2 this i have been contemplating over and i don't even know how long to purchase this item I hear everybody talk about it, everybody say they love it. I know Michelle 1218 said it was life changing. Marnie Gold, um, Miss Gold Girl. There's been so many of the YouTube gurus that I watch that really just swear up and down with this. Um, took me a while simply because it is an investment. I mean, it's not a cheap item. And I just thought, okay, a brush, you know, cleaning my face. I can buy a hand brush and do the same thing. It's, it's really not. It's amazing. Um, I'm going to upload a full review on this. Just, you know what I can say real quick without getting too much into it. Every time I wash my face, I feel that smooth cleanness that I did the first time I used it. Which I was like, <gasps> I immediately felt when I splashed my water off to rinse my face. I could feel it and it was just amazing. And I get that feeling every time. So um, it has really done good for me. It was a good purchase. I'm, I'm very happy. I'm very satisfied with it and I would repurchase it again. So my last two items are not really favorites um, only because I got them a week and a half ago and so you know still need more time to kind of test them out but I've really been enjoying them. Um, it was a purchase that I made from alcone.com A-L-C-O-N-E. It's a beauty kind of supply store that is based in New York City 
and they had a deal they have deals of the day and Candy Johnson tweeted about it and I've been wanting to get a beauty blender. So this is what it is. It was two beauty you got two beauty blenders for I think it was eighteen dollars. And this is um I just used this one well earlier today. So and then this is the second one and you can tell the difference in size. It is shrinking, um it expands a whole lot once you get it damp and wet. And I'm very pleased with it um, because I have discolored skin, because I have scarring, because I have all this mess on my face. I tend to use medium to full coverage foundations. And when you put concealer on top of that, and when you put powder on top of that to, you know, to um, kind of seal it in and you have to deal with oiliness and all that, you tend to look cakey. You tend to tell, yes, I can tell that you have makeup on. And I hate that. You know, I hear all these people talking about it should look flawless. It should look like skin. Well, with all the crap I'm piling on top of to cover the crap on my skin, it doesn't look like skin. Um, so this really has done, it did an excellent job of kind of not sharing it out, but I don't know if it was the water and a combination of the sponge and the material, but it did. It, it, it really kind of spread it out in a way that a brush or my hands couldn't um, without it looking streaky. Um, so it, I don't know, I've, I've tried the other wedge um, sponges that are, you can get at Sally's or whatever, and no, they just end up soaking all the foundation up in them and putting blobs all over. So I think it has to do something with the kind of material they're using and the thickness of this um but i've been really impressed and i know that sonia kashik makes one i know that there's different kind of versions of this beauty blender out on the market i can't compare them because i've never tried them this has been my first but i'm very very impressed with it and i don't know why i thought it was a heck of a lot more money i think they said they're originally like 26 dollars or something and so i got this one too for 18 so i was it's cheaper than buying a brush and it goes on better than a lot of brushes so very happy with that. And then the second item I got was um, a lip tar from o Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. And this is in the color Hush. And it is the color that I have on right now. I've been wanting... I went... When I went to go... My sister lives in New York. And um, I tried to go... They don't have... Um, they have a store, like a showroom, but you have to make an appointment. And I didn't think about it till like the second to last day. And they had no openings. And I was like, oh, that sucks. And so I was going to just have my sister go and purchase them for me. Or, you know, I was just going to go online and do that. But I was trying to be slick and cheap and avoid shipping. <coughs> Excuse me. And with this Alcon deal of the day, it's no shipping. So I I knew that they had sold lip tars. And so I said, oh, well, let me just buy one so I could take advantage of the free shipping. Very impressed by it. Um, like everybody always says, a little goes a long way. Um, it is, you know, not long long lasting but it doesn't just um wipe off your face i mean i've eaten and it's still on there so um it has like a weird scent though and i'm thinking is it a weird scent because maybe they're old and they get shipped the old kind of products and you know how when you can kind of smell it's kind of old it just it has like a very muted mint smell but you don't taste the mint it just kind of tastes kind of old um, it's not bad, um, but I do love it, and I am very interested in trying some of the other colors because they are, it's very opaque, and like I said, it's not very creamy, but it doesn't look matte. It's like an in-between, and, um, but it stays, which I absolutely love, so I'm very interested. It's just a very weird texture. It's not like a lipstick. It's not like a gloss, um, and it's very opaque, so best, best of both worlds. Okay, so that's all for my items, but I did have a quick tip I wanted to throw in. This is one of those um, three wick candles. Um, this was called Frosted Tangerine Cake. It was so good. It was a birthday gift I got for Christmas. I have a video that um, is a tip on how to remove wax from those um, your candle burner. Um, I know a lot of people like chisel it out and makes a mess. There is an absolutely easy way to remove your wax. You just throw your whole pot into the freezer and give it about an hour or two and then it just pops right out. I tried it with this because I thought, oh, you know, if I can take this off and clean up the, the you know, jar, you know, you can use it for other things. And sure enough, I put this in the freezer and... Um, it came out 
so this is you know the, it just wasn't burning anymore god it smells so good so now you just kind of clean this out and you're you have a cool jar it's it's a cool lid you can take it says stickers so these are easily removable um you can use it to put jewelry to put um hair ties um bobby pins buttons anything and i just thought oh it's, it's a cute jar to really keep instead of throwing away i hate to i don't know why i have something about throwing away things that i feel are reusable so another quick tip it works on these three wick candles so thank you so much for watching i hope everybody's doing well and i look forward to seeing you in my next video take care everybody bye